good morning good morning you guys I want to make another quick video to let you know that we are going through a lot and it's times that you say I'm praying and praying for what that Lord I prayed and it's nothing's happening like Tamala man says um, take me to the king when she said truth is I'm tired options are few I'm all prayed out so what I'm gonna do right and she even say I'm all churched out <laughs> hurt and abused right so i know we might can relate to that but i just want to testify to you guys this morning about some things that happened to me that hope it encouraged you my goal is to encourage you not to discourage you to tell you the truth that we got to go through trials and tribulations and still learn to push through um i'm not gonna sit here and tell you i don't cry i'm not gonna sit here and tell you i don't feel like feel hurt by other people slander other people mission to cause pain in your life some people are in your life for a purpose and some people are for a season we know that but anyways getting straight to the point you guys um i received my son grace this morning he got like a 3.0 i believe it is um and complete um constantly he's been getting like a 3.0 3.5 and this is not to brag this is to tell you the child that i'm talking about this child was bullied twice in one year to the point of being hospitalized twice getting four corrected facial surgery because the bone structure was fractured and do i feel that targeting is a part of it yes <laughs> yes because the people could think about it have you ever knew somebody to get assaulted to the point that they're hospitalized and you press charges and you go back to get a police report and the police try to tell you you ain't press no charges and then the juvenile you try to take this juvenile to court and the court dismissed the case without you even showing up and this and lied and said that because the boy talked to us and we approve of his actions um, and forgive and forget and we let it go when we ain't never talked to the child this is what I was going through you guys on, on top of that, my son became depressed. He wasn't able to go to school like everybody else because of the fractures that he received. I had to send him to, it's like um, a, a private school, a home, home school, right? Okay, listen to this story. He got behind where they was like, oh my God, he might not graduate on time. And these people, and then on top of that, trying to get the packets for him to complete. They wasn't giving us the correct packet. Um, they enrolled him in the wrong class and it then failed him and said he don't even receive the five credits for that. I'm, this is what we going through, you guys, with this one child. Okay? And then on top of that, um, so finally we enroll him back in school. This is after the first bully incident that took place. Guess what? A few months after that, another child start try to spray chemical substances on him while he was in class did the school do anything about it no nope that's it the child was still allowed in my son's classroom um and then they just swept it under the rug okay that's not it so a couple months after that another child came up to him and punched him in the face and uh, well, then i got involved this time i said i wish i would i pulled the child after school and said don't you ever in life put your hands on my kids don't think that don't think that we're gonna allow you to do that and i said first of all what gave you the right to do that what did he do to you because i'm not a person that just gonna take my child's side and say he didn't do nothing wrong i said what made you do that well, I heard, here we go with the rumors, you guys. I heard that he said, and she, and my son was like, I don't even know the person that she's talking to or talking of that said I said anything, right? Okay, so kind of find out it was falsified information. Okay, and what the person gonna do? Oh, I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry. That, that child is in jail, not because of us, but I guess that child had issues, so they know how to pick the ones that's messed up to cause havoc in our lives when you are a target they know the ones to trigger that is going to be abusive that will follow lead follow suit to the devil's advocate advocate plan okay so come to find out even after that incident that child apologized to me and my family about putting hands on my son and became cool with my son okay but guess what that person's in jail for some whole nother stuff that done happened, you guys. Look at God. So moral of the story is, let me tell you today, he is 10 credits ahead. Okay? through We went through counseling, 
therapy, family therapy. Um, he had to stay homeschooled. I had to beg these people, beg these people to keep up with his package. They will lie and say, oh, he doesn't need this. And then when it comes to the end of semester, say, oh, I'm sorry, he did need that. So now he got to hurry up and try to get it done. I'm telling you, this is the trials that we was going through. But I keep telling you, there is a, a will, there's a way. There's a will, there's a way. Like I said, please don't give up. It's hard. I, I ain't going to sit here and tell you that I cry. I wish I had. A strong person by my side to help me walk through this but I don't I'm walking along with God you guys I don't have nobody that will say it's gonna be okay we got this I have so many people saying me 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 not us 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 right everybody needs that strong teammate but if you don't have that strong teammate God will be your teammate because look at me I was a single parent walking my son through this by myself yeah I have family that knew about it you think they got up and took me to the took me to his therapies I had to argue with somebody to go with me to his surgery I had to say can you please go with me for support to the surgery the person had to go to work because that was more important to them but they don't see stuff like that People don't see that. They want you in the corner when things happen to them. But when it happens to you, you got to beg and plead and get in arguments. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying, you guys. You got to strive to just believe in God and trust God. Only I think that's what God is trying to tell me when he keeps removing people out of my life or keep revealing to me that people are not who they say they are, that I need to only trust in God. I'm telling you, the weapons formed against you was prosper. The weapons was thrown at us, you guys. Last year, I lost my grandfather. Um, like I said, dealing with the two multiple surgeries for my son, all the deaths in my family, but I'm still here. I'm still here. And once again, no weapons will form against you with prosper. Yeah, they going to form, but prospering is when it beats you. When you beat it, that's the word where it says will not prosper. So listen to my testimonies this morning, you guys. Listen to it. Ten credits ahead when they say he wasn't going to graduate. He got one more year. Just because I'm making this video, I guarantee they probably going to throw another um, stone at us. I probably wake up with a flat tire. Car won't stop. But that's not going to stop me. I promise you. What God's, when God is for you, whoever's against you will not win. This battle was not ours, y'all. We're going to win this. I promise you. Keep your heads up.